Every generation has its great action fighters. From Tony Zale and Rocky Graziano, to Carmen Basilio and Gaspar Ortega, to Bobby Chacon, Arturo Gatti, and Mickey Ward, history looks back fondly at the blood and guts warriors of each era. In this era, we have Ruslan Provodnikov. The Siberian Rocky is one of the most exciting fighters in the world. If you're looking for slick defense or technical boxing prowess, his fights won't be for you. If you're looking for pure, unadulterated violence, you're in the right place. Provodnikov has brought his brand of savagery to television. Through years of jaw-dropping battles, he's brought in some of the highest ratings in U.S. boxing television in recent times. But the thing about all-action fighters is that the hourglass tends to run out a little faster. It's rare to see a fighter with the style Provodnikov has last as long as he has. And oftentimes, when the end comes, it isn't pretty. Ruslan might have been at his very best the night he faced Timothy Bradley. He engaged in a fight of the year contender, but came up just a little short. That night perfectly illustrated what Provodnikov is. A step below elite in terms of talent, but a step above everyone else in terms of entertainment. The clock may ultimately be ticking on Provodnikov's shelf life. Wars against Bradley, Lucas Matisse, Chris Algieri, and Mike Alvarado have certainly taken the toll. Nonetheless, he remains a factor in the welterweight division, and with his approach in the ring, there will always be offers on the table. Provodnikov versus almost anyone in the division has the potential to turn out to be fight of the year. Let's see how many more rocky moments we can get out of him before those moments finally get the best of him.